The Sims 4 is the fourth major title in the life simulation video game series The Sims developed by the Redwood Shores studio of Maxis and published by Electronic Arts, The Sims 4 was originally announced on May 6, 2013, and was released in North America on September 2, 2014 for Microsoft Windows. A Mac-compatible version of the game was made available for digital download on February 17, 2015. The Sims 4 is the first PC game to top all format charts in two years. The game has received mixed reviews since its release, with the majority of criticism directed towards its lack of content. Since its launch, it became the best-selling PC game of 2014 and 2015. To date EA has released seven expansion packs. The most recent is Island Living, which was released on June 21, 2019. There have also been several game packs released, including Parenthood which allows the players to shape the characters' children and teenagers as they go through life, as well as free updates that include major changes such as the addition of a toddler life stage that was previously non-existent. Gameplay the Sims 4 is a life simulation game, similar to its predecessors. Players create a Sim character and control their life to explore different personalities which change the way the game plays out. Sims can multitask such as talk while doing a task. Sims mood lets also change the gameplay. For example, a Sim can do a task while being either angry or totally excited. Similar to previous Sims games, player-created challenges abound. One of the most prevalent is the Legacy Challenge, in which players create a single sim and try to make its family line last for 10 generations. Create a sim, ka. One major change to the Sims 4 Create a Sim functionality is that sliders have been replaced by direct mouse click, drag and pull. Through mouse click, drag and pull players may directly manipulate the facial features of a sim. Players can also directly manipulate any body part including the abdomen, chest, legs, arms and feet. In previous Sims games only the fitness and fatness can be manipulated on a Sims body. However, fitness and fatness levels may still be adjusted in the Sims 4 with sliders as in previous games. The base games comes with over 40 hairstyles for both men and women. There are up to 18 hair color options per hairstyle. Selections of pre-made designs of Sims are available to choose from, which range in body shape and ethnicity. Seven life stages are available including baby, toddler, child, teenager, young adult, adult, and elder. The baby life stage is accessible only through the birth of a Sim and not available in Create a Sim. Toddlers were initially absent from the original game release, but were added in the January 2017 patch. Each sim also has three traits and an aspiration containing its own hidden trait. Compared to previous sims games where everyday, formal, sleepwear, athletic, party and swimwear wardrobes were restricted to having their own clothing options, all clothing options are now available across all forms of wardrobe and players are allowed up to five outfits per category. There is also a filter panel where clothing options can be sorted by color, material, outfit category, fashion choice, style, content, and packs. In a summer 2016 update, gender options were expanded in the game, allowing any gender expression. With this update, haircuts and outfits can be worn by any sim of any gender, and pregnancy can become a possibility regardless of the gender. By slash build mode. In The Sims 4, build and buy modes have been combined and is now treated as a single feature. A detailed build and buy system is included along with neighborhoods and landscaping. Some locked buy mode items may be unlocked through the progression of career levels. Entire buildings and rooms can now be moved across the lot. There is a search option to search for build and buy mode options. When building a house for your sim you can buy already made rooms which can help but costs a lot of money depending on the style of the room. Wall heights can also be adjusted. There is also a pool tool feature with a custom version and triangular, square, and octagonal pool tools. There are build mode cheats such as motherload, which enables the player to automatically gain 50,000 simoleons, added to a sim's household to buy things with. The gallery. The Sims 4 includes social features, 
such as importing sims, lots, and rooms other players have made from the gallery into the player's game. Players may publish their creations into the gallery for other players to download into their game instantly. On January 9, 2015, EA released a version of the gallery for iOS and Android devices. Worlds The Sims 4 base game originally shipped with two worlds, Willow Creek and Oasis Springs. Both worlds contain five neighborhoods and a total of 21 lots. With the release of Outdoor Retreat and Jungle Adventure, the worlds Granite Falls and Salvadorada, respectively, became available for visiting on outdoor vacations. Newcrest became available with a free update, having three neighborhoods with five empty lots in each, for a total of 15 lots. Magnolia Promenade came with the Get to Work expansion pack, and Windenburg was introduced in the Get Together expansion pack. The City Living expansion pack, released in November 2016, introduced the new city of San Michino. The Vampires game pack added the neighborhood Forgotten Hollow. In November 2017, the seaside town of Brindleton Bay was added in the Cats and Dogs expansion pack. In November 2018, the town of Del Sol Valley was added with the Get Famous expansion pack. In February 2019, the Strangerville world was added with the release of the Strangerville game pack. Development The Sims 4 is a single-player game, and does not require a constant internet connection to play. Players need an origin account and internet access during the initial installation process for game activation. Ilan Eshkari serves as the composer for the game's orchestral soundtrack, which was recorded at Abbey Road Studios and performed by the London Metropolitan Orchestra. On April 25, 2013, Several screenshots from mock-up flash videos of the user interface were leaked online. On May 3, 2013, Electronic Arts sent out an email to several fansites stating that there would be a big announcement on May 6, 2013, which many speculated would be The Sims 4. On August 20, 2013, The Sims 4 was revealed via Duct gameplay demo and release trailer at Gamescom. Previews of the building and character creation systems debuted earlier in 2014. Additional game footage and the release date were revealed at the Electronic Entertainment Expo on June 9, 2014. Gameplay was unveiled during Gamescom 2013, held at the Cologne Messe in Cologne, Germany. Unveiled features focused on the improved Create ASIM with an all-new click-and-drag feature omitting the use of sliders and the addition of emotion-based gameplay. Select players called Yibsims who mostly manage fan sites and YouTube videos were invited to Sims Camp to see the game before the public and press, consequently the game received minimal coverage outside fan sites. Maxis stated the game would run better on lower-end PCs than The Sims 3 which was plagued with performance issues on low-end and high-end PCs. It was suspected that The Sims 4 was scheduled to be released in early 2014, but it was later revealed to be released September 2, 2014. On May 14, 2014, producer Ryan Vaughn unveiled another Create a Sim trailer on the official The Sims YouTube channel. This included a preview of what the pre-made Sims Bella Goth and Mortimer Goth would look like in The Sims 4. The development team unveiled another trailer on May 28, 2014 that showcased the new build mode features. Players can choose between three different wall heights and adjust the location of a window on a wall, as well as be able to move an entire room from one position to another. EA unveiled another gameplay trailer including more gameplay footage and announced the release date of the game, September 2, 2014 during a press conference at the Electronic Entertainment Expo on June 9, 2014. The Sims 4 was released on September 2 for North America and September 4 for EU, Australia, and Brazil. On June 28, 2014, a video was released showing the originality of each Sim and their emotions. In January 2015, Maxis announced Outdoor Retreat, the first paid DLC for The Sims 4. The DLC focuses on outdoor activities in the National Park. Until mid-2017, there were no plans for a console release. However, 
versions of the game for the PlayStation 4 and Xbox One were officially confirmed for release on November 17, 2017. In June 2018, it was announced that The Sims 4 will continue to produce new content through 2021. On September 26, 2018, plans were announced to add mouse and keyboard support to the console version of the game. In October 2018, according to an article published by GameSpace, a live stream was held by Maxis Monthly announcing new features such as terrain manipulation and the style influencer career. It was also announced that The Sims 4 will be upgraded from Python 3.3.5 to 3.7.0, which will result in script mods no longer working. Mac Development Upon first announcement, EA stated that The Sims 4 was in development for both Mac and Windows, both to be released in 2014. However, closer to release date, the company stated that they were focused Windows and had no updates on the Mac at this time. In October 2014 further information was disclosed suggesting the future release of a Mac version. Vaughn told International Business Times that the team was working on a Mac version right now. On January 13, 2015, EA confirmed the release of the Mac version to be February 2015. On February 2, they announced via the official The Sims Twitter feed that the Mac version of The Sims 4 would be released on February 17, 2015. Earlier in the development process, a fansite interview with a producer had revealed Create a Style, Ka, a customization feature introduced in the previous Sims game, would not be added to The Sims 4 in lieu of other features. The developers then announced through a series of tweets that the game would ship with a stripped-down version of Story Progression, a gameplay mechanic controlling neighborhood autonomy, and that basements, grocery stores and school and work locations would not be featured in the game. While careers and schools would still be featured, they would be represented differently from The Sims 3, more akin to the way they were featured in The Sims 2. These announcements sparked criticism among many fans who speculated that the exclusion of arguably core features were intended by the developers or parent company to be left out for later paid content, or in order to make rushed deadlines. A petition was launched by some fans to have the features restored for the initial release, even if the release date were to be pushed back. Maxis contended that it was not possible to include every feature in the new game that had been added over time in the six years The Sims 3 was in development, and that these could always be added at a later date, although they did not confirm exactly how this would be done, or whether it would be free or at a cost. Some speculated that many new features would be released through paid expansion packs, but others speculated that some of the more basic, core content, i.e. pools, toddlers, would be released as free patch updates, similar to how some new features were patched free into The Sims 3, such as basement features. Questioned as to why some features, such as a cupcake machine, were implemented over what many viewed as key gameplay, Maxis and The Sims producer Graham Nardun attributed the sacrifice to time constraints, the workload and distribution of developers, and the comparative lack of available developers to some areas of production to other areas, as well as risk factors. .mw parser output dot template quote dot mw parser output dot template quote dot template quote you can't weigh features by how much you want them in the game, you have to consider how many development resources it takes to create them. The tram? A couple of days from one of our FX guys and it's finished, very low risk, very low complexity, using entirely existing tech, and adds a nice visual punch to the neighborhood. I can't recall ever scoping against FX, they always have time to be adding more stuff. Our FX folks submitted their own long list of things they wanted to work on because there wasn't enough for them to do. Now, you can't take the FX team and ask them to add pools to the game. They don't have the work skills to do it, neither do I pools, toddlers, they're extremely complex features that require months of man hours of work across multiple disciplines and introduce significant risk. If we were to have added one of those to the game, there would have been two choices for us, cut many small features, or cut one other significantly large feature. Maxis and The Sims producer Rachel Rubin Franklin later elaborated in an official blog post, acknowledging the concerns of fans, 
and explained the issue on the developers' focus on the Sims 4's new core game engine technologies, and that the sacrifices the team had to make were a hard pill to swallow. It begins with new technology and systems that we built for this new base game for the Sims, the vision for the Sims 4 is a new experience, to do that, our technology base needed a major upgrade. When we sat down and looked at everything we wanted to do for this game, all the new tech we wanted to build into it, the fact was that there would be trade-offs, and these would disappoint some of our fans. Hard pill to swallow, believe me, but delivering on the vision set out for The Sims 4 required focus. Franklin stated new features such as Sim Emotions, Advanced Sim Animation, Interaction and Behaviors, as well as the new Create a Sim and Build Mode tools as a large part of the reason that detracted focus from features such as swimming pools and the toddler life stage. On October 1, 2014, Maxis confirmed that one of its missing features, swimming pools, along with other new updates and features, would be added into the game for free in November, and this happened in the form of a game patch. Other features like basements have later been added in subsequent patches, and the missing toddler life stage was eventually added for free in a patch released on January 12, 2017. Significant features added via free game patches. Patch release date. Significant features added. October 1, 2014. Ghost, a new type of sim that is an optional addition to the game, the death flower plant, and the ambrosia cooking recipe, Star Wars costumes, Yoda, Princess Leia, Luke Skywalker, and Darth Vader. November 4, 2014. Swimming pools, various swimwear. December 16, 2014. Two new active careers, business and athletic, paid time off and family leave options. February 3, 2015. Genealogy panel, displaying a Sims family tree. March 26, 2015. Basements, down to two levels down, and an additional above ground floor bringing the total floors available to 6, the notebook feature on the phone, which catalogs a Sims gardening or fishing discoveries, paint by reference option on the easel. May 4, 2015. New Star Wars costumes, Boba Fett, Darth Maul, and Aayla Secura, revamped the loading screen. June 11, 2015. New Crest, a new world containing 15 empty lots within three new neighborhoods, the welcome wagon from New Neighbors, the custom room tool. July 9, 2015. Half walls, locked doors, kings and queens door, which allow only just the men or women to pass through it, respectively, towel full body outfits. August 6, 2015. A dishwasher is added to the appliances, which needs to be slotted into an existing non-island counter. September 24, 2015. New trait, jealous, limited interaction trick or treat, claiming beds, resizable rugs, underground saunas. November 3, 2015. New hire service, repair man. December 4, 2015. 64 bit executable, automatically disable mods after patch, change in Sims groups, new NPC interaction fire and death reaction systems, new venue type, pool and new option to color water, world maps updated, put grills in inventory. February 4, 2016. New trait, kleptomaniac, new hire service, gardener, new aspiration, new content in build mode. April 21, 2016. Returning NPC, tragic clown. June 3rd, 2016. All Create a Sim content is available to both sexes, as well as gender customization. June 23, 2016. Child Sims can now experience a monster under the bed, appearing as tentacles which children can either befriend or ask adults to spray. Adults cannot see this monster, however. A light for warding away the monster has also been added, which features an image of the new character Kolala. This character appears in the new kids' room stuff as well, released June 28, 
2016. July 14, 2016. Nannies have been added, and the ability to adjust all lights in a room in one go has been introduced. August 18, 2016. SIM cell phone covers can be customized. September 27, 2016. Mexican Day of the Dead Ka items are added, a Mexican dish, Panda Muerto, is added to the cooking recipes. October 27, 2016. Eight new lot traits have been added to the base game, a copy-paste function for build mode has been added. January 12, 2017. The toddler age group, along with unique toddler traits, skills, outfits, objects and the ability to customize your sim's teeth, includes the other life stages, have been added with a free game update. February 2, 2017. Redesigned the main menu. May 25, 2017. Updated the load slash save menu. November 11, 2017. Four new roofs are added in build mode, pentagonal, hexagonal, octagonal, and round roofs, advanced roof curvature mode and additional manipulation points to gabled and hipped roofs, photography is made available to all players, a new maximum sim count option in gameplay options, objects can be shrunk using the size down sheet. February 6, 2018 New female hairstyle and 10 new skin tones were added in addition to an anniversary t-shirt. June 19, 2018. Added glass roofs, cold and hot weather outfit categories to 